Hi everyone! Uh, in this video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be sharing with you my five things to know before to crochet, starting to crochet. These are the five things that I wish I knew before I started to crochet. The first thing was getting familiar with the crochet terminology. I'm going to link down below the abbreviation list from the crochet crowd that I feel like is the best one in my opinion. Um, they created the most best list for beginners to follow, print it or screenshot it on your phone and have it with you when you're starting to read patterns and that way you have a guide and know what the, um, the blogger or the person who wrote the pattern are talking about. Number two are the materials and for the materials if you are starting out and if you have no materials yet I highly recommend you getting a size H5H8 H8 hook, 5.00 mm, which is the most standard hook that uh, most crocheters use to begin with. And uh, my favorite crochet baller, um, Repeat Crafter Me, uses this a lot. So I go up and down this hook, uh, up and down this number, just to kind of get to her uh, gauge and size things up, like for hats and stuff. Um, and I highly recommend a size 4 yarn. So when you see, when you go out shopping for your yarn, you're going to want to look for this number. And all this number represents is the thickness of the yarn. But this right here is the most commonly used yarn. And you'll be able to find a project used with this um, sized yarn. And get yourself a uh, light color. You can use like a turquoise or a pink, um, you won't want to get black or any really, really dark colors when you first are starting out because it will make it difficult for you to see your hook or your stitches as you're working your project up. So that is going to be your yarn and your hook. Now, um, the next thing is a stitch marker. Um, the stitch marker, I highly recommend for beginners and you can either buy at your local craft store any of the um they sell many type of stitch markers uh, in my experience i would show you the ones that i liked before but i always end up losing all of them so like most crocheters do i just used a contrast color for example i have this mermaid tail right here it was going to be a doll, <laughs> it was going to be a mermaid, um, but as you can see, I have a different colored yarn and that's what I use as a stitch marker to keep my place. And so I know where I left off and I can keep going in the round. So these are nice, if I lose it, I can just cut up another piece of yarn and use that. So this will definitely will keep you in place and your stitches so you don't need to lose how many you have. Number four. Is holding your yarn now this I I had to practice a couple of times and the what I love about crochet is that there is no right or wrong way um, everybody does holding their yarn the way they grab their hook um, and the way that they crochet either right or left-handed any any way is okay you have to find what works for you so make sure you get comfortable with either holding your your hook like this, holding your hook like this. Um, some people even do this right here, which I wish I could do the pencil hold. <laughs> this is really. Um, I've seen them do this, so you have to do what works for you, and I highly just recommend to to practice with it. Um, the way that I like to hold my yarn um, is. I put it, I put the tail, I leave a little bit, and I leave the tail after I've done my slip knot. I put it in between my ring finger and pinky, and then I take it under those two fingers, the ring and the middle finger, and then I put it over my my um, my pointer. So this is the way that I grab my yarn. And the reason I'm holding it with my thumb and my middle finger is for tension. So that's the other important part uh, when you're when you're figuring out what how to hold your yarn is tension. So when I'm working, I can uh, work from the tension 
make it tighter, make it looser, tighter, and then I hold it and then tighten it again. So holding your yarn is definitely important. Um, when you are working at the beginning with your stitches and you're starting to crochet, you will notice that your tension is going to be either very tight or very loose and that's okay. <laughs> you're starting out and I remember when I started out, um, most all my stitches, especially when I started knitting, um, it was very tight. Five, the last one, but also very important, is having patience. Have patience with yourself, have patience with your work, and just trust the process as you go. Also, one of the biggest thing is do a stitch at a time, master one stitch at a time. So you wanna first work with your, um, slip knot and then do your chain and then your single crochet and then your double crochet and so on and so on and you will get there progressively just start with one stitch at a time um, that'll allow you time to get comfortable with the stitch and once you have those simple stitches done you create a foundation for your future projects that you're going to be working on um, isn't that cool? <laughs> so, uh, it, it's so crazy. Uh, I think the first three are really the ones that I usually use the most. Single crochet, double crochet, and treble. But if you guys have any questions about crochet, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'll also go ahead and link all my crochet favorite bloggers so you can check out their cool patterns that are all free and amazing. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Happy crafting.